Okay, so our final video here. So this next video is about native base, which if you've worked with React and you've worked with React Strap, you sort of already know what the concept is. This is a whole bunch of components that are built to work with React Native. So they come along with all the styling that you would expect from iOS or Android, but they give you a bunch of extra functionality that's not in the built-in React Native library. So the reason I'm bringing this up now is I want to add to my previous video, which was all about um, fetch, API calls, getting data, and displaying a message on the screen when we were waiting for that data to come back. So I was just displaying the text loading before. And if we look at the app, here it is. I click on the button. I'm going to get some data. When the data comes back, that loading message disappears, and then I see the data. Okay. I don't want to do that. I want to display something on the screen that's a little bit nicer, like a spinner. This is one of the components that we get with native base. So you can set the color and it's really just this. That's all it is. You have a spinner component, you give it a color, and then you have something that you can show and hide. Makes it really, really easy. Now React Native has this activity indicator component. You can use that instead, but I like this spinner. It's nice, simple, easy to use. We just have to make sure that we're importing the spinner component from native base. So what I did was I already, on my command line, I already imported the library. So we have to use, if you go to the getting started commands in native base on this website, we can see that we can do npm install native base dash dash save, or you can do yarn add native base. I'll put those commands inside the uh, description for this video as well, as well as the link to this native base website. All right, let's jump back into our app here. So this is the app that we have right now. And I'm going to add the line for importing spinner from native base. And you know what, actually, I'll just put comments in here. You can either do yarn add native base. This is on the command line. Or you can say npm install dash dash save native base. Either one of these commands are going to install this library so you have access to it and then you can import the pieces that you want. All right, so that's done. Now I have my spinner imported. I can go down into my page and inside of here, instead of this text that said loading, we just have to put in our spinner component and we can choose the color that we want to use. So I'm going to say uh, cornflower blue. Any of the CSS colors are going to work here. You can do hex code, HSL, RGB, or the named colors. So that's done. The only other change that I made to this code, other than a little bit of styling, was here inside my show data method. If you watched the previous video on the fetch and API calls with React Native, I've added here something purely for the demonstration. This is only for demonstration purposes. This is not something that you have to do when you are doing a fetch call. I've added a set timeout of three seconds. So when I click the button and I get the data, I wait three more seconds before displaying it. And I'm only doing that so that the spinner shows up on the screen for a longer time. So our spinner is here and I'm saying I'm either going to show the spinner or I'm going to show the button for get data. So you'll notice when I click on get data, it disappears. I see the spinner and then when the data comes back, this disappears and the button comes back. There's our spinner, three second delay, and there we have all the data and our button is back. So every time we click on it, it's going to show that and then it's going to add our data. All right, so that's it. That is how to use a spinner component and how to use native base. So I'll leave the URL for the native base website in the description so you can take a look at all the components. I will be doing another video in the future on the components from native base. Um, just show you, highlight some of the ones that uh, I use sometimes. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.